Hey, what's going on, guys? DJ has here, bringing you guys part three, your day three of my Mobathon, uh, or Moabathon, but Mobathon sounds better, so I'm gonna just start calling it that. Um, this is part of my Unepic series, and uh, you know, I started doing this on a, on a regular. I don't know why, just randomly, I wanted to, to show you guys a video, but I didn't want to say epic because it wasn't that tight, so I said Unepic, and it kind of stuck. So now I'm, it's kind of something I've been doing. I hope to continue it through Black Ops and just uh, some my unepic series so there'll, there'll be some cool things that you guys will hopefully see here and there and I'll just have it called unepic for some reason I don't know I just think it's kind of funnier um, any which way this gameplay starts off pretty good and you saw the javelin spot got me one I ended up catching one guy co coming towards the B flag this is a prime location if you guys haven't seen there's a video that I have called just the tips and it's it's a series another series that I'm trying to uh, continue um, I might because because it's so late in the game at this game I might start it with Black Ops from the beginning and every single map I'll, I'll have some sort of a breakdown for my tips uh, and um, ju just the tips basically for the map so it's kind of a uh, kind of a dual meaning but but uh, some of you guys are probably too young for the other one so I'll, I'll leave that one alone any which way I start off um, pretty uh, pretty well in this one and I, uh, I get the Moab I believe before I end up dying but this is just a really really easy map for me to, to get Moabs on if uh, you get them in the right spawn, if if they're spawn trapping you, it can be real real ugly. But this is a key uh, location right here. You can see what I just ended up doing. I ended up getting on top of their uh, their own area, and now, now I'm just picking them off at their spawn. Um, I can see them coming by and going towards the B area, so I pick this guy off here. And you just gotta watch your back because when you're up high like this, um, they can come back and, and get their revenge on you really easily. But, uh, but this is another good location right here. You can see I'm using this to my advantage. And just kind of watching out and seeing where these enemies are spawning. My team might have pushed in a little bit too far at C flag or at A flag. Now they capped C or they might have just uh, rushed in too far in C. I'm not really sure. But I'm picking them off from A when, uh, when they're coming through. And I can see the red dots. So I'm definitely using that to my advantage. Um, again, though, you don't want to stay up here for too long. You... You can see that they're going to be coming from the other side at some point, so you got to just kind of play it smart and go back around. Um, and and now that we have A, and the, so now it's completely 100% flipped. Now I'm now I got to get out of here and uh, come back towards the other area. So I'm going to pick up my radar. Always a smart move if you have the opportunity to. Uh, if it puts you at risk of dying, you don't want to pick up the radar. Obviously, um, this is another good spot right here, and you can see uh, I use this to my advantage. Kill this guy. And then I try to be the team player. I'm not going down there by B, but I don't want my teammate to uh, to die basically running down there by B. So I ended up taking out that, uh, or helping take out that IMS as well. Um, you can see that I am running the fall camo here, I believe, on the, is it the fall camo? On the uh, M4A1. And uh, I ended up getting uh, the, the mob with this gun. So pretty, uh, pretty good gun. I mean, it's not my favorite by any means, but, you know, I get a lot of complaints sometimes when I'm, um, playing with a scar all the time and they're like oh, I'll use a different gun but it, you know it's it's like especially when you're playing on new maps and stuff you want to put on your tryhard pants you want to make sure that you're you're coming at them with your best uh, to be able to try to get these moabs and stuff and I've gotten three on this map now so um, I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable with this map but it still can be difficult now one thing to note this spawn is really tricky you notice how I pushed up far enough now my team is spawning all over uh, and we're gonna recap um, C and then they're going to be over obviously at A. Now the problem is if, if not my team doesn't spawn in by me and the other team does then uh, they're and, and I'm trying to pick them off the way that I'm looking this way right now they'll spawn like literally right behind me in this area that I'm going to show you guys. I think I'm running back towards it. Um, they'll spawn back in that area and then they'll run back towards me and kill me and that's happened many many times so you got to be careful if you push up to the area that I'm right right here and you can see right here this is what I'm talking about this guy Usually they'll spawn over right here, and then they'll just turn right right back around, run back down towards me and kill me. So be sure, if you have uh, them at C spawn, to basically just watch your back. Right here is the, what I'm talking about. This area right here, um, if I'm shooting the guys as they're coming over that side, I need to watch my back and turn around, back at this way. And again, it depends on where your team is spawning, but it's definitely one of those things that will happen if, you, uh, if you're not aware of your surroundings. Um, but I'm just I'm trying to piece the kills together here and right here I'm like I know that they're spawning on the other side I don't want to get caught off guard if, if they're camping around the side and uh, that one little assassin guy is all it takes but watch this this is the most epic finish look at this guy <laughs> uh, yikes 
he just about had me. He was sniping me from behind for some reason. He didn't try to knife me. He didn't try to use a secondary. He was just trying to, I think, stack one of those extra uh, sniper kills. I'm not really sure, but because he did that, uh, <laughs> it made it uh, so I ended up getting my Moab. So pretty, uh, pretty exciting for me to be able to get this. This was my second Moab on this map, and uh, you know, I I ended up getting the first one the week of that the or actually the second day uh, of the map pack being released. So it was really cool that I was able to get one so early. Um, I did get one on Sanctuary as well. And you know, I apologize, guys. Most of the Moabs that you guys are going to see in this little an epic Moab Mo Mobathon, I mean, um, are going to be on the ex expansion maps. And the main reason is because they're the ones that I play the most, and they're the ones I'm good at. Um, you know, the regular maps, I just I don't have Moab strategies or Mob strategies yet. So, uh, so I'm sticking to what I know, and these are these are the ones I know right here. I'm still picking these guys off. This is like the perfect situation. I mean, I'm just picking them off at A, but if you don't watch yourself, they will. Uh, mm, look at this. It, I can't believe that guy got me. They'll they'll start coming at you at full force, and then you'll end up dying. But um, you can see I just spawned in right there again, and I'm back in the action, and I'm ready to, to continue trying to get more kills. So I, I sped up the rest of the gameplay 2x, and uh, just so you guys can see the rest of the game. And we're, we're losing a little bit right now, but uh, I'm going to help try to ensure we win by watching the flags and everything else. I um, always love it when my team watches the, uh, the B flag or caps the B flag. It's really bad news when when your team is uh, so so not with it and they don't know how to protect flags and they can't cap the B flag and then you know I'm the only one on the team going positive that happens from time to time uh, it just gets a little bit frustrating when when that happens but I'm, I was trying to shoot down that copter uh, didn't happen so I said forget about it I'm just gonna use my javelin and uh, try to pick these guys off running the B flag it's nice that they're trying to get the B flag but I want to make sure that we uh, we stop them because it was pretty close but at this point we just end up blowing them out um, I think I'm not sure what map I have tomorrow it probably won't be anything crazy but I know some of the the gameplays I have uh, pre-recorded or pre-done for the uh, five to seven days of Moabs but uh, the other ones some of the other ones are not pre-done they're, they're waiting for you guys in open lobbies just like I did for my my nukeathon my 10 10 nukes in 10 days on 10 maps basically uh, I'm, I'm just waiting and you know, I think only two or three of my I got of those ones in open lobbies. But regardless, it's always fun to be able to do them in, in open lobbies and stuff. If I can get gameplays with you guys, it's always uh, exciting and, and uh, kind of fun to, to roll with you guys. So um, again, follow me on Twitter, DJ H E and Forces H E S S S S, and uh, and then I will go ahead and uh, send you guys invites when I'm on, and hopefully we can get some games in. I have a busy weekend though, but um, but yeah, hopefully I will get, be able to get some games in in between. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's going to be late night for you guys, probably. Um, but you can see how aggressive I am. I'm right here, just all in their grill. Just uh, and, then, and then we end up flipping the spawn, so end up getting another gun here after I got my specialist again. I love the specialist addition, though, to uh, to Modern Warfare 3. I have to say, I didn't really like it the first handful of uh, months, and I uh, definitely, definitely love it now. So 49 and 5, pretty good game for myself. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys like the video and uh, check back for more content. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks.